They're really saying the quiet part out loud now. On a video about people wanting the right to discriminate against trans people, they comment, freedom of religion. If your religion requires you to discriminate against someone, your religion's not one of the good ones, and you should probably find a different religion. There's also an ultimate irony of quoting freedom of speech and then telling someone to shut up in the same sentence. But those aren't the two points that I want to talk about. This is another whataboutism that gets brought up all the time when you talk about inequality and social justice issues. They love to bring up, look at what is happening to our veterans, but they never actually do anything to help veterans. Veterans have kind of become this rally flag that people like to wave around when they want to shoot down another idea, but actually don't want to put in the work to do anything for it. You bring up helping refugees and you get, what about our homeless veterans? You bring up services for trans youth and you get asked, what about our veterans who need health care and mental health services? Completely ignoring the fact that you can focus on both issues at the same time and help both groups of people. But they really don't want to help either group of people, because if they did and they truly cared about veterans like they try to claim that they do, our VA health care system and services for veterans would be better than they are now. And the irony that's lost on them is the same political party, the same group of politicians that are pushing these anti-trans laws are also voting against improvements for veterans' health care. Just recently, the House voted on expanding VA health care and services for veterans exposed to burn pits in Iraq and Afghanistan. And while it passed the House, 174 GOP lawmakers voted against it, claiming that it would cost too much. So if you come to this page and you want to use veterans as a whataboutism to talk against trans rights, there's something that you should know. I'm a disabled combat veteran, and on top of the other disabilities that I got from my time in service, I have exposure to burn pits. So using veterans as a talking point when pushing anti-trans legislation is probably not a good idea when the same party that's pushing that anti-trans legislation is telling veterans to go fuck themselves. This isn't the flex you think it is, guy.